Okay, so uh, first let's introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm a uh, dark musician. Hey, and I'm Sniper Worm. And uh, this is the first in what hopes to be a long series of tutorials for Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, also known as uh, Nuns 2, for those of you that don't know. Uh, so yeah, these, uh, we're gonna, st I got a lot of requests to do these. Um, uh, I know a lot of you are curious about uh, the advanced techniques that we keep talking about, and uh, I know it's a little hard to see just in matches if you're not sure what to look for. So hopefully this will break it down for you, and uh, not only will you guys be able to do it as well, but uh, you might be able to uh, teach other people as well. So uh, here we go. Uh, basic item tricks. Well, this is like item. This is like advanced techniques 101 here. Okay, so. I'll have the professor, Sniper Worm, explain uh, just what is item cancelling and why it's so good. Go ahead. Okay, so um, a lot of people when they first start out, they don't really use items, except for maybe the bombs. True, yeah. Because to be honest, items don't seem that useful. No, when, when the game first came out, we thought items were, were useless. Yeah, I mean, except obviously, except for bombs and like maybe like attack all the big power know. up items. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but oh, what you'll find is that items themselves are actually quite useful once you figure out that you can actually cancel item, cancel out the items into other actions. And, and how do you cancel items in this game? Okay, so. When you use an item, normally, like, I'm gonna use my... I'm, I'm controlling Takasasuke right now. So... Oh, for those of you who don't know, that's the guy who's spinning around. So, yeah, I'm gonna throw his right item, which are the, the kunais. And, yo, I'm gonna hold to the right the whole time. So, I'll be running, right, and then I'll throw it. And then you see how long I lag there? Yeah, you, like, you have to totally stop. And then you keep going. Yeah, so... In a, in a game like this, that's really bad. Anytime that you just stop and you can't move. Yeah. So that that's one of the reasons why people think, oh, items are terrible, you know? Yeah, and then like the, the kunai don't even like do a whole lot of damage, and they don't really they don't really like set up for any combos that well, and it, it just doesn't seem very useful at first glance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But um, with in, in this game, uh, when when you whenever during the whole time where you're using an item. You can actually cancel it out at any point into a chakra action. So for those that aren't aware, a chakra action is something that involves pressing the chakra button before you do it. So for example, a chakra dash, uh, a chakra shuriken, uh, a jutsu, a uh, ultimate jutsu, or a team ultimate jutsu. Right. Which I'm not going to show you. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, you can actually cancel out the lag, the ending lag of of using an item with one of these moves. For example, the kunais, a common response to them is to chakra dash at through them because you can just chakra dash through them and they're not even there. Yeah. You know, cuz it just the chakra dash just stops, just takes them away. But you can actually cancel it like that into his chidori, for example, and the chidori would beat a chakra dash. Yeah, most people would be looking for like as soon as they see him stop, they'll assume, okay, he's gonna throw something. Yeah. Anyway, um, you can also do this with the power-up items. Because if you notice, again, I'll hold, and then I'll power up, and then there's still a time where I can't do anything. Right. But if you power up, you can immediately do a chakra action during the power-up, and your, your move will come out, and you don't lag. Yeah. So it's a good way to bait people. It's, it's actually a way to, to, to extend combos as well. But we can go into that a little bit later. But uh, one other thing that you should know is with the offensive items, the left and the right ones, the ones you throw out, right. you can actually cancel it before they even throw it. Cool. And it doesn't use up the item. Because uh, if you, if, if, like, say for example, um, well, I guess this is still kind of advanced, but during, during certain actions, like when, when you dash at someone in the air like that, from the time of when when you do that, you you can't uh, chakra dash on your way down. Correct. So so that's kind of important because normally you'd be like, why do I want to hit them twice with dashes that do no damage? But a lot of characters like Takasasuke can actually uh, link uh, a ultimate jutsu from a chakra dash. Right. So e even though even though you can throw the tag, you can dash into them, throw the tag, and then chakra dash. 
That's one extra hit that they could sub. Yeah, in this game, it's better to keep your combos uh, as short as possible while maximizing damage to prevent subs. Yeah, so uh, if you if you if you input your action really quickly, oh, as right after you press the button for the item, you the item actually won't come out. Like it's hard to see there. Let me see if I can get a. There, you saw him raise his arm there. Yeah. So I actually canceled the tag before he threw it. Yeah. So basically, uh, he went into the startup animation of throwing the item, but the chakra animation cancels the rest of the animation, so the item never gets thrown. But it still activates the uh, the canceling motion. Yeah. Oh. And again, this is really important because some characters need this to get in and do big damage. And another plus is that because the item doesn't get used, as long as you have at least one item in that in that slot, you can do it all, all the time. Yeah, you can keep item canceling. You can keep item canceling. And uh, this doesn't... I believe this is only good with uh, things you can throw, right? And yeah. not the things you can power up. Yeah, the power up items will always be used if you cancel with them. Yes. Because you get the boost as soon as you push the button. There's no way to stop it. Right. But I mean that that's good as well though. That is, yes, it is. Um, uh, 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 just from a personal standpoint, um, there are certain characters in the game that when you th uh, power up in the air uh, with items, they uh, get some extra lag. Uh, like my main Gara, for example, he floats a little bit after he powers up with his defense items, and that can be free ultimate jutsu or free punish. Yeah. If they're looking, if, if they react to it or if they know about it. So, very important for some characters to item cancel uh, when they can. Is there anything else that we should cover before moving on? Uh, well, I guess, I guess that's, that's the real basics of how you do it. Uh, I guess we can go into some actual uses now. Okay, then uh, why, don't, why don't you get another set of characters and good idea move on to the next step <laughs>